That was Bank of America CEO Brian Moynihan uh, with us yesterday on this program about the consumer shifting spending from goods to services, but still a strong spender. Joining me right now is uh, Win Big Media CEO Philip Stutz. Philip, it's good to have you. Thanks very much for being here. I know Thank you have you new consumer data. Uh, that finds that price is the number one factor for consumer purchases right now. Walk us through this. When it comes to American budget streaming services, uh, you say, are the top item that they're willing to cut. And, of course, we saw that in a big way from Netflix. Well, I think when you're looking at the economy right now, you've got a war, a pandemic, hangover. You've got supply chain issues. You've got food shortages. There is an incredible amount of uncertainty in the market, and it finally is just, not to mention inflation, which is the number one issue, which we're talking about. But that's, everything's kind of coming together to make a very angst-ridden consumer that has dropped almost everything on brand loyalty and is now looking at price as the number one factor in a purchasing decision. Yeah. I mean, look what happened to Netflix last week, losing $57 billion in market value as it reported cancellations of streaming uh, yeah. and expectations of even more cancellations of streaming. Uh, is this one of the sort of low hanging fruit when you take a look at what people are willing to give up on? I know your, your, uh, your report looks at, you know, how people are spending money. Yeah, so that's a great point. And uh, what we found was, look, Netflix was going to project at 2.5 million new subscribers at a 200,000 subscriber loss. We actually told our clients in February that we saw this coming. I think there will be many more uh, streaming services that are going to see cuts in the economy, and it's, uh, it's going to be a problem. And so uh, I definitely think so. Think about this. During the pandemic, Maria, you had consumers uh, ordering more streaming than they had ever done you know, in their lives, right? And they've, we've gotten to a point with all the factors I just talked about where they've finally just said, you know what, I've got to make some budget cuts. This is $7 or $10 or $20 a month. I can cut three of these and improve my budget situation. And that's what we're seeing. Yeah, let me ask you about what you found in terms of uh, people going back to work. The report finds 60% yeah. Uh, of uh, of uh, job seekers uh, want to work virtually. All of those Americans on the job hunt wanting higher pay, top reason to do so. Walk us through what you're seeing in terms of the jobs market. Well, I mean, 23% of the employee market in the U.S. right now is looking for another job actively. That's not even inactively. So you could think that there's probably another percent, a higher percentage of people that would be open to changing jobs. And so when we found out in the, in the data we looked at that it was also a 60%, like you said, want to work virtually. And what I think is if you're a business owner right now and not adapting to the fact that the employee market has more leverage than they've ever had, that you're going to find yourself in deep, deep trouble. Yeah, I mean, Philip, what do you think happens here? We're looking at an economy that is slowing down. We'll get the GDP number uh, in about an hour and a half, and we're expecting a gain of just 1.1 percent. That's way down from what we saw in the fourth quarter. How does that jive with your expectations in terms of back to work? Oh, uh, the back to work is is people are coming back to work, but you're finding that people aren't very satisfied when they come back to work and they're actively really looking everywhere right now. And so, again, if you're a job, if you're a, an employee uh, employer, you've got to be able to go to your employees and say, you can work virtually. You know, we, we now are negotiating four day work weeks. We're negotiating unlimited vacation it, it, in order to keep your employees, to train them, to hire them, to train them and to keep them. You've got to think differently. You've got to give them more leverage. And that's just where it's going right now. It's, I've never seen anything like this. All right, Philip, great to see you. Thanks very much. Philip Stutz joining us this morning. Stay with us. The next hour of Mornings with Maria begins right after this short break.